In this first of a three-part video series, we will be looking at the DuckDuckGo search engine. DuckDuckGo has about 0.5% of the market share in internet searches. First, we'll deal with CCleaner and how you need to run it in order to start with a clean browser. Then, we'll look at how to configure DuckDuckGo in Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, and lastly, Microsoft Edge. Thanks for popping by. This is Steve Staves, and it is my goal and pleasure to help you make your computing experience easier and more enjoyable. There are a lot of biased reviews on the internet with regards to different search engines and how they can benefit you or potentially destroy you. Some search engines take privacy into consideration and others, well, not so much. One of my goals is to present a series of videos that leaves out all the rhetoric and instead gives an unbiased look at how you can set up the different search engines on your computer. In this video, I'm going to review DuckDuckGo, which is the one that I currently use. DuckDuckGo is creating a niche market in that it serves up the same results to everyone by not profiling its users. Is this better than Yahoo, Bing, Google, or many of the other search engines that are out there? I will leave that up to you to decide as I have my personal opinions, but this is strictly about how to use DuckDuckGo if that is your preference. Also, there are toolbars that increase security and privacy protection, but that too is a topic for another day. Okay, let's look at our browsers and how to configure for DuckDuckGo. But before we configure them, the first thing I'd recommend is run a program called CCleaner. I'll include a link for this in the bottom so that you can Download it for yourself. What this does, it deletes all the cookies, the cache, and the garbage that accumulates. As you can see on the left-hand side here, under Windows, Microsoft Edge, Edge Chromium, and Internet Explorer are all selected, so it'll delete all the cookies. That's the specific area I'm looking at right now, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. Under Applications, same thing with Firefox and Google Chrome. So we want to run the cleaner. Basically, when we make a change to the default look and feel of DuckDuckGo and any other search engine, those changes that you're making is stored in a cookie. If you run an, a cleanup program such as CCleaner or any others, it'll delete all those customizations and you'll be back to the defaults. So to save yourself that inconvenience, we want to delete the cookies so that we can start fresh. If we have a look at options here, then cookies, you'll see there's no cookies saved on this computer. So if we open up Mozilla Firefox first, you can see I've got the default start page, default search engine, everything is at the default. Keep in mind all browsers now, this web address bar at the very top here, when you type anything in here, such as, say for example, you're gonna look up Canada, that is actually your search bar. So whatever your default search engine is, when you type anything up here, that's what will come up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change a couple of things in Firefox. First thing, I would like my default start page to be DuckDuckGo, because that's the the actual search engine that I prefer. So click on the three lines in the top right corner, go into options. On the left hand side, click on home and right here next to home page and new windows, click on the drop down and select custom URL. We are going to type in https colon slash slash duck duck go.com. So now our default start page, that's the only thing we've just changed is our start page. In our search over here, if you look at default search engine, it's currently set for Google. We can click on the drop down and we can select DuckDuckGo. If you don't see that in the list here, or you want to add a different one, scroll down a little bit further and here's your one click search engines. You can either delete them from here, add more, and do it to your heart's content. So let's close down Firefox just to open it up to show you. When we come in, you'll see DuckDuckGo is now our default start page. But if you have a look, it's got all this extra stuff coming on the bottom here, which personally, I don't like. So DuckDuckGo gives us a nice option. Click on the three lines next to the DuckDuckGo page, not up top with Firefox. Click on other settings. A few things you'd wanna change right away. Whatever region you're in. So if you're in Canada like I am, I will select Canada English as my default region. Because here's the difference with DuckDuckGo and many other search engines. Other search engines are cookie specific. In other words, all your web history and your browsing history and everything is saved on their sites and they know what you search for. So they start customizing your search results based on what you've actually done. I don't like that. To me, there's some security issues around that. But 
if in DuckDuckGo you select your region, it'll bring up Canadian uh, hits for your search phrase first and then the rest will come after. If you don't select that, it'll just bring up everything in order of the search relevance and you could have things from other countries that really are of no interest to you. A few other things you might want to change on here is your units of measure. If you prefer metric or US based, I'm definitely metric, so I'll choose that as my default. And then go through the other options. Some you might want to leave on, you might want to turn off or change, but the ones I all I definitely turn off. Install DuckDuckGo, these ones I turn off. The privacy newsletter, I'll turn off. The homepage privacy tips, help improve. So basically everything at the bottom, I turn off. Save and exit it. Now you can see it. it's a much, much cleaner start page for DuckDuckGo. Keep in mind, this is stored in a cookie now. Another thing you might want to change is you click on the drop down and you go into themes. DuckDuckGo also gives some themes. I prefer dark myself. So there we go. There's our default changed. Now, if you have a look at CCleaner, we'll click on any tab here just to come back in so it refreshes itself. You can see all the cookies that loaded just from doing what we just did now. So that should be an indication of how many cookies you could have on your computer. The one we're looking for is DuckDuckGo.com, which is this one right here. We want to shift it from the left over to the right. Now watch what happens if we run CCleaner now. It'll get rid of everything else. The only one that will remain there is the DuckDuckGo.com because it's in the right hand column. So if we go back into options, there we go. Everything else is gone and that one's there. So now if we open up Firefox, all of our customizations are still here. Open up Google Chrome next. You can see again, I've just left it at the default. And if you want to change the start page here, same thing. You click on the three dots in the top right corner, click under settings, scroll down all the way to the bottom. Open a specific page or set of pages. I've already typed in the duckduckgo.com link here, and that will now become our default start page. Your default browser, you can set to whatever you want, but here's in Google, this is the one that we want to look at, your default search engine. Click on the drop down, and very similar to Firefox, we'll change this to duckduckgo. And if you don't have it, again, it's a similar thing. Click on Manage Search Engines, and here's where you can add and remove search engines based on what you what you would rather have. So now if we go to our home page in Google, there we go. Our default now is DuckDuckGo. So what we want to do is close out our browsers, come back into Google Chrome, just to make sure it is set as our default. And we're going to do the same customization here. So in other settings, we're going to change our region to Canada. We're going to disable all these bottom ones from install DuckDuckGo downwards, save and exit. And the last one we want to do is our theme. So we'll set that as a dark theme. Close that down now. OK, the third browser we're going to deal with is Microsoft Edge. Open it up. And once again, you'll see that the default is just set to uh, the Bing search page. Click on the three dots in the top right corner. Click on settings. Click on, on startup on the left hand side here. And here you go. You can select open a specific page or pages. And I've already typed in the DuckDuckGo shortcut here. So that will become our default startup page from this point on. If you want your search engine changed, click on privacy search and services. Browse down this one all the way to the bottom and where you see address bar and search. Click on it. And at the bottom again, you see manage search engines. That's if you want to add same thing as Google Chrome and Firefox. But if you want your default search engine changed, it's right here. Search engine used in the address bar. We'll change that to DuckDuckGo. Close it down. We'll reopen it just to make sure. So say, for example, we want to search for Again, we'll use the same example, Canada. There we go. We can see that DuckDuckGo is now the default search. And if I wanted to change the theme as well, which I prefer the dark theme, there we go, save and exit. We'll run CCleaner one more time. First, before we run it, let's check our cookies and make sure that DuckDuckGo is still on the right-hand side, which it is. So we'll do, run our custom clean. 
Okay, one at a time, let's check to make sure our three browsers are still running as we expect. So Mozilla Firefox comes up with a default start page of DuckDuckGo.com. The search bar at the top is defaulting to, let's make sure, it defaults to DuckDuckGo. We'll open up Google Chrome. Same thing, the default start page is DuckDuckGo.com. And we'll make sure our search bar is also it. Yep, that's also DuckDuckGo. And last but not least, Microsoft Edge. As you can see, the start page is DuckDuckGo. Oh, I forgot to make the changes here. Other settings, same thing. It's Canada and all these bottom ones I turn off. Now, one thing that threw me off at first when I was looking this up, the cookie for DuckDuckGo is the same cookie so DuckDuckGo.com, even though we're using three different browsers, because each browser writes its own bit of information into that same cookie. So if you move that cookie over in, let me just open it to show you here. So under options of CCLEAN, we go into cookies. Here's the DuckDuckGo.com. Because we've moved it over here, any changes we make will automatically be saved. So just keep that in mind if you're confused why there isn't three DuckDuckGo's here and just one. It's because each browser has its own separate section within that cookie. And as you can see, if we just close down Edge to reopen it to show you, there we go, all of our settings have been changed. Now that you know how to set up your default start page in all three browsers and how to change the default search engine to DuckDuckGo in all three, take a few moments to customize yours and get more out of your computer under your terms and not how someone else might have set up your computer for you. Please do stay tuned for my next videos that will take a similar approach to Google Search and Microsoft Bing. Thanks for stopping by, take care, and have a fantastic day.